What's going on everybody? My name is Fusro John and welcome to episode 2 of our Minecraft Let's Play. Now before I get things going here, I wanted to say that I am sorry for not being able to upload an episode on Monday. This is obviously Wednesday's episode. Uh, what the deal is, is that I am getting ready to go on a trip for spring break. And uh, I've had a lot to do to be prepared for the trip, so um, I obviously did not have time uh, to record an episode juggling, getting ready for the trip, and all my schoolwork because... Uh, luckily for me, and this is a lot of sarcasm here, uh, my teachers realized that, you know, they forgot that they had to teach us this year. And so they realized in the last week of school that, oh boy, we have a lot to teach our kids. And they decide to jam pack this last week before spring break. Now I go on spring break next week. It starts uh, this Friday is the last day of school. And so I've been getting ready for my trip because I'm leaving uh, soon uh, as Saturday, right after um, our last day of school. And uh, yeah, so our teachers have decided to give us tons of tests, tons of homework. It's really been a jam-packed week. And luckily, I already have a video recorded for Friday, which would be um, a Skyrim episode. Now I'm going to continue down here. I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about a couple of things, though. Um, I have decided against doing the Mass Effect 3 Let's Play. I know I was going to do it, and I know some of you were excited. Most of you didn't really want to see it at all, to be honest with you. I'm actually going to go back up here. But um, here's what I've decided. For now, I'm just going to stick with Minecraft and Skyrim. I feel like uh, that's really the only two games that I've been playing lately. And um, what I'm going to end up doing is... I am just going to alternate Minecraft and Skyrim every upload day. Now what I mean by that is I told you guys that I was going to upload Minecraft on Monday and Skyrim's on Wednesday. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate them. So um, it'll go Minecraft, then Skyrim, Minecraft, then Skyrim. You, I mean, I'm sure you get the picture after that, that little explanation. But that's the way it's going to go from here on out. So, you know, uh, you'll get one Minecraft episode and then one Skyrim, and then it's just going to rotate. And I think that's the easiest way to do things for me, and uh, I think that's, you know, the fairest way to do things. I know, uh, despite how many times I've said that I'm not only doing Minecraft, there's still a lot of you out there that um, persist to tell me every single day that I should be only doing Minecraft. And it gets a bit frustrating, but I still love you guys. You are really good, loyal subscribers, those of you who followed me over at least. And, uh... I'm kind of hesitant to go down here right now. If you're wondering why I'm kind of waiting up, I don't want to get um, killed right away. Oh boy, there's going to be monsters. I can tell you that for sure. Anyways, what we need to do today to start things off is we need to collect some wood. And um, my family just got home from the store. So if there's a little bit of talking, I am sorry. They probably don't know I'm recording. I need to get one of those signs that sits outside my door and says, like, uh, on air or something like that to show that I'm recording, but I don't have one of those. And uh, until then, I will probably get interrupted occasionally, which is okay. It's not the end of the world. Yep, they're already dropping stuff. I'm sure you could hear that bell. Anyways, let's kill the skeleton because skeletons are no good. All right, let's see. We need some way... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say that we need a way to kind of signify that that's um, the tree that we need to go to. But I think the giant platform uh, attached to it will kind of signify it enough for us. Let's kill the zombie. Now, another thing on the top of our list is some food. Uh, as you see, I had to eat the, uh, the zombie flesh. And I don't really like doing that because it doesn't really provide that great of a source of food. You can't cook it. Or anything like that so it's not really not really good for you um, let me make sure oh yeah we'll definitely never lose track of that that looks so goofy but a lot of you liked the treehouse idea so I am gonna stick with it and try to follow through on our little base here and really make a nice looking treehouse now unfortunately it doesn't seem like uh, we got abundant wildlife on this world I don't see very many animals at all I mean I know I probably killed a couple in the first episode. It's been a while, actually, since I recorded episode one. It's been a couple of days, so um, I don't exactly remember what I did. I know we made that monstrosity, if that's a word. Hopefully it is. I think it is. But yeah, we made that. All right, here's some sheep. Now, I'm definitely going to kill them. Yep, my family's singing because they just... No consideration <laughs> for people that are doing stuff. That's okay. That's what family is for. Oh, and there's more pump. Oh, and that's a creeper. Okay, hello. What's going on? Blow up. We're in water. It's not going to do anything. Alright. 
get that wool nice now we need three wool i'm not exactly sure if we uh, I, we might have made a bed i'm not exactly sure but i still want the wool oh <gasps> what is that what is that oh is that the cat that scares creepers can i tame you maybe they're tamed like wolves and oh there's another one oh my gosh and they're booking it and there's wolves all right, can we? Can I tame you? Why are you so scared of me? Stop running! Oh, but there's pumpkins as well that I'm kind of distracting me. So I'm gonna get the pumpkins, I think, first. Oh my gosh, there's so much cool stuff in this world. I see wolves. I see pumpkins. There's little Garfields running around. I guess I'll call them because they're orange cats. Oh my goodness, this world is insane. This is really exciting. I've never seen one of those cats other than. Uh, probably in Doc M77's video. Can I please like tame you or something? I I, gu I guarantee it that I'm doing something that scares them and that you need to have probably food out or something in order for them to come towards you. Unfortunately, I don't have any food. Now I could always try to um tame a wolf instead and use my uh, use my bones for that, but. Uh, wolves are kind of boring to be honest. They really don't do anything for you. I mean, obviously they can uh, they can kill some animals for you if you'd like them to. But I would much rather have a cat that scares creepers. Imagine walking around with a cat following you and have it scare off any creepers. You wouldn't have to worry about any creepers. That would be really really cool. Or at least uh, to me that sounds cool. Come here, Garfield. You're gonna be my pet and you're gonna like it. Come here. I'm gonna sprint after you. Man, these things are fast. Well, I guess cats and dogs get along. Come here, come here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you if if you don't come here. Yeah. How do you like the threat? You scared now? I hope so. More pumpkins, man. We have tons of pumpkins. We're not even gonna need a pumpkin farm. All right. Oh, now I got some food. Let's try it. Come here, come here. Now it's kind of funny because I did not look up what the deal. <gasps> oh, he slowed down. Maybe he didn't see me, but maybe he also likes the food. Come here. Yeah, I have absolutely no clue what they need, but that's a bigger one, it looks like, unless they only have one size. I'm not exactly sure. Anyways, while we sit here and uh, mess around, my food bar is going down, and I am about to die, so I think it is time that we run back to the base here and get our health up. Now, um, while I do this, uh, let's see. Make sure there's no creepers here. We kind of have a sketchy way up to our base, and I'm going to keep it this way because I think that's going to make it a lot more difficult for mobs to attack us. I'm not exactly sure how many mobs are going to do this little uh, jungle gym rope swing thingy we got going up here to get up to the top. Uh, but I wanted to ask you guys about something, and this is really random. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of the game Temple Run. I, I think it's considered an old game now. I'm sure a lot of people would consider it an old game due to the fact that it's been out for a while. But anyways, as I said to you guys in my update video, which was the last video on my channel, I just got my new iPhone, and I started playing Temple Run for the first time, and last night, or it was two nights ago, I reached 10 million. That was my score. It was almost actually 11 million, and it was 100% legit. I heard that there's like a way to hack or something. Uh, I'm not really about hacking, so I did it 100% legit, and I got 10 million, and I wanted to kind of hear what you guys uh, thought of that game. I hear that a lot of people are annoyed by it now due to the fact that it's gotten boring, I guess. To me, it's still kind of fun, but I think I'm going to stop playing it now that I reach 10 million. Uh, we'll let these cook up. Let me just grab one more, and then we'll go do some more exploring. We're going to put some stuff away here. Like, we don't really need leather on us unless it attracts cats. Well, that might be something... Uh, worth keeping then did i put a bed out here or did i not i cannot remember if i made a bed all right well i don't see one and uh i'm going to make one because we are going to need it uh, i always say that i don't want to use a bed on the first night but that first night is long past and we are going to be using it so hopefully you guys are okay with that because that's how it's going down <laughs> that sounds really harsh but no that's okay anyways Back to what I was saying, I think Temple Run is pretty fun. I got 10 million. I was extremely surprised by that um, because before that, my high score was like 5 million, so I doubled it, which I guess really isn't that crazy, but a lot of fun to me anyways. Um, another thing, uh, this is just for you, for those of you who kind of care about, like I guess, my personal life. Oh, we got piggies. I guess the jungle's filled with wildlife, unlike the, the tundra we were in over there. But for those of you who are uh, the least bit interested in my uh, personal life, 
Uh, a lot of you might know that I wear glasses. If you've ever seen one of my vlogs, you've seen me wear glasses. Um, I'm actually learning how to wear contacts, and I say learning because I'm still not used to them. I only wear them a couple hours a day. Uh, a couple hours a day. But um, it's really, really exciting. Oh, you're in a sticky situation there. Got your food. But yeah, um, like I said, I'm learning how to wear contacts, and I'm actually wearing them right now. It's pretty exciting, and uh, it's going to be nice to be able to go on this trip and not have to wear my glasses. I'll still bring my glasses because, obviously, if something happens to the contacts, you want a way to um, be able to see because I really can't see at all without my glasses, which is pretty sad, but I have got, like, no vision whatsoever with my glasses off. Alright, there's our base. Now what we need to do is collect some more logs. That's one thing we definitely need to do. So let's go do that right now. And then after that we're going to collect some cobblestone. Now I don't... Oh my god, sheep. You are really high up there. And you are breakdancing. That is awesome. But anyways, um... What was I saying? Yeah, I don't remember. Anyways, um, we need to get some more jungle logs. And then we're going to grab some cobblestone. I don't want to break down one of the big jungle trees. That's what I was saying. And then I, I noticed him. But I don't want to break down one of the big jungle trees because they're so epic. They remind me of the movie Avatar. The one that I think James Cameron directed. And that was an awesome movie, by the way. But that's what they remind me of. Like the big trees in, uh, that the blue Avatar people lived in. Whatever they're called. I don't remember their uh, technical name. But they kind of remind me of that. So I'm going to keep them around. Alright, now, there's a good thing and a bad thing about jungle trees, uh, aside from the fact that they remind me of a, a really good movie. Um, they provide a lot of logs, which is definitely a good thing. You don't have to cut down too many of them to get, you know, plenty of logs. The bad thing is, is that they're so tall that uh, they kind of become a little bit daunting to have to take down. Some of them, like the one that I'm living in, I mean, imagine trying to cut that whole thing down. Sure, it would provide stacks of wood, probably, you know, close to two stacks of logs, which would be great, but my goodness, it would take a while. And, uh, I, I don't know. I don't plan on cutting our tree down, that's for sure, because, you know, we're living in it, but uh, it is a pretty cool thing that they added these new trees. It's always nice to see Minecraft add something really new. Like, what I mean by that is, a lot of times they'll add, you know, something small, and it'll just be like, okay, yay, that was, you know, exciting for the first day when I saw it in the pre-release. And now it's uh, nothing special, but when they add something like an entire new biome, I find that to be really, really amazing. That just, uh, it really gets me wanting to play Minecraft again, and I think that this series is going to be good due to the fact that I'm in the new biome. I think I'm really going to keep entertained here. And, um... I'm really excited about the cats. I w I'm going to go look up, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to go look up uh, if you can tame them and kind of like their behavior. Because like I said, I really know nothing about them. And I'd like to uh, have a pet cat. I think that'd be cool. I've had a bunch of pet wolves in my other Let's Play series on my old channel, Team JCSP. But never had a cat, that's for sure. All right, so what we need to do here is replace these uh, wooden planks. And also, the we have some of the spots that are these dark logs here. And... I want it to all be jungle logs due to the fact that we are uh, in a jungle. Imagine that, right? But yeah, we're going to make these logs here. And I kind of have a cool idea on how we're going to make this platform. This platform is not going to be cobblestone. I would like to have it mostly leaves. That's the goal. And uh, in order to do that, we're going to need a ton of logs nearby. That way we can uh, keep the leaves to stay here. Uh, as I said in the last video, leaves decay if they don't, or log, yeah, leaves decay if they don't have logs nearby. So it is very important that we have these logs. All right, so that's all jungle logs. You can tell by the ring around them on the top, or at least I thought you could. I don't know where the uh, the dark logs start. Okay, here it goes. So we're gonna break some of these precious dark logs, and unfortunately, they're gonna take quite a far fall, except for this one. There it goes. But yeah, now that we have enough jungle logs, we are going to replace this entire ring. Let me make sure this is all jungle logs. Yep, it is. I think I'm just missing one the corner here. Er, uh, oh, maybe three. Well, you know, one or three. Not that big of a difference. All right, we're going to replace the torches now. And we're going to take a nap. We're going to use a bed. We're going to set our spawn finally on this world, which is something that I'm pretty happy about. And there... Oh, my goodness gracious. That was almost bad. I was about to say that I am excited about our new spawn, but I immediately regret that. We're going to put some fences up there. That way I can't spawn okay. there. That is for sure, because that was almost very bad. Oh, that, that kind of scared me. Okay, so what I plan on doing here is... Let's see if I can manage this. 
I'd like to fill in this inside platform one block lower than I'm going to have the leaves and I'm going to fill it in with logs and then I'm simply going to place the leaves on top of the logs here once I get enough of them. We're going to have to make some shears that way we can uh, go collect a bunch of the jungle leaves. But anyways, I'm going to replace uh, this bottom layer here with all uh, these jungle logs. Now, I guess the bottom layer doesn't really matter, you know, what type of logs they are, but because I still want to keep everything you know kind of the same symmetrical or I guess uh, I don't know what you would call it but you know all the same type of materials I will not be using any logs other than the jungle logs alright so I'd like to keep as many leaves intact as I possibly can I mean obviously I'm gonna have to break some to be able to to get to the next spot but if I can do it like this and leave a couple of them I think that's definitely a good thing Alright, let's see. We can use this walkway we have going up here as a good way to kind of fill this out. Let's see. That needs to be logs, that's for sure. As does this. Oh, that was sneaky. We got that log in place. Now, I unfortunately don't have any more. Alright, let's run back up top. We're going to need to make another axe here. Now, this episode... Yeah, it's going to go way over 15 minutes, but I don't think any of you will mind because uh, I'm always asked to do uh, longer episodes. And we're going to need to collect some more, um, what you would call it, some more logs here. I might speed this part up actually because I know that uh, though you will be excited about a longer episode, you probably don't want to spend it uh, watching me cut down trees. I'm not exactly sure if I myself would even want to do that, to be honest. Oh, we might as well pick all this, uh, all these materials up here. Oh, uh, this is going to get dangerous real fast if I don't go back to uh, my tree here. Okay, so, um, let's see, will I fast forward it or uh, just make a cutscene? I'm not exactly sure, but, um, anyways, let's see if we can go find some iron because I'd like to make some shears, that way we can start getting leaves together. And uh, in order to do that, we need two pieces of iron. Now, I saw this little cave over here. And uh, I'm assuming that we'll be able to find at least two pieces of iron. Or, or at least I would hope so. There's some coal. Oh, there's iron. Okay. So we were able to find some. This might not be the safest place to go. But you know what? Iron is important. And uh, we're going to go get some right now. Oh, I can hear the monsters already. Oh, there's plenty of iron. All right, let's do this. We should probably actually pick up the coal while we're here. That probably wouldn't be too bad of an idea, but I don't want to overstay my welcome and have these monsters come and uh, kill me. That wouldn't be too good. All right, so let's see. Got some iron. How many pieces was that? Six. That's pretty good. We'll also grab this. Uh, I think we'll come back for the coal later. Uh, depending on how much sunlight we have, I do want to go collect those logs still, and I want to give myself enough sunlight for that. Uh, well, why not? We're already down here. We might as well just collect the coal. I don't know uh, why I'm making such a big deal about it. and Just grab it real quick. It's not going to take too long, hopefully. Alright, let's see. Let me get this real quick, guys, and then we're probably just going to head up on over to the tree. So I'm going to speed this all up. I'm going to collect this, head up to our avatar tree. I think that's the official name of our base. It's the avatar tree. Definitely, that sounds good. And uh, we'll head over to the avatar tree. And uh, after that, we are going to go collect some leaves and some logs. So let me do this real quick, and uh, I'll be right back. Alright guys, you might have heard some squeaky noises uh, in the sped up part there. That was me talking. Once again, my family uh, decided to walk in even after I told them that I was recording, which is just freaking awesome. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, there's nothing I can really do about it. So hopefully the squeaky noises weren't too crazy. Didn't scare you that bad. But... What we need to do now is I'm letting the iron cook, and once we get two pieces, we'll make some shears. Now, just real quick, I wanted to count this out. I know this is not a perfect square. I can already see that. 
but I want to count it out. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, at least it's an even number. Let's see this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think we will remove... Uh, this is going to be a pain in the butt, but we're going to remove um, one layer of logs here. Um, because we're still early on in the building, uh, it won't be too bad to just have to remove one layer here. Now, I would like to save these logs if I can, which is why I'm building this dirt pathway out here. This is a pretty uh, sketchy move, seeing how there's a pretty long fall below us. But I would like to uh, catch these logs if I can, as I already said. So we're going to build us a little uh, scaffolding thing here, whatever you want to call it, and hopefully catch all of these logs. That is... Oh, no, it went down. Man, that is not cool. And there it goes. Another one bites the dust. Not cool, man. I really wanted to uh, get all these. And now uh, our axe is gone. This is not going well. Oh, another one fell. That one didn't fall too far, but fell nonetheless. Come on, give me it. Yeah. All right, now we have to break this hideous uh, dirt pathway down and lose all that dirt. Yeah, that's one thing about living in the avatar tree that I'm starting to realize. We are going to be losing a lot of resources that decide to fall down, which is totally fine. Uh, it's really not the end of the world. But what we're going to do now is replace this cobblestone ring with... Um, logs here and now it'll be a 10 by 10 pathway it's an even number which is a good thing and it's also um it's also like symmetrical i guess all right we're gonna remove this always make sure you take your stuff out of the furnace before you move it because i'm not sure if they fixed it recently but it but the way it, it has been at least for a while it might have been fixed as i said but every time i've played if you leave something in there and then uh break the furnace you actually lose whatever's in it and that is not a good thing uh, especially if you know it's like iron or something like I had cooking all right so let me see here let me grab that we just really needed one more log that way we can uh, finish our ring here now one thing that I'm noticing is that our spiral staircase even though it is a two by two it is not directly in the center which is unfortunate but that's definitely not the end of the world that can be fixed very easily all right, let's throw our crafting table back down, and we're going to make some shears. Now, I'm going to make two pairs of shears for the simple fact that we are probably going to need a lot more leaves, uh, you know, than, I, than I'm thinking here, because uh, the way I see it is we're going to be building a lot with leaves, and I can guarantee you that we're going to need a ton of them, so uh, I will grab a bunch of them now. All right, let's put our coal away, our logs, all this can go away. We'll keep the dirt on us, and... Uh, I guess we'll save some food in here just for a rainy day, uh, if you get what I mean, <laughs> just in case. All right, I think we're good. Where's the sun? It's setting. Well, I'm going to start collecting leaves anyways. Let's hop down here. And here's all my materials, my building blocks, as I'd like to call them. All right, now it's really easy to gather uh, leaves here. I would like to gather the jungle leaves, as I had mentioned. Um, but um, I think any leaves will really do. But let's see if we can find a jungle tree and we'll start uh, grabbing the leaves. Well, there's one there, and that one looks like it has a lot of leaves on it. So we're just going to climb the, the natural ladder here that's been made for us. And uh, start chopping away. Uh-oh. So it, it's a really easy to collect leaves actually, for those of you who don't know, you just uh, left click on the leaf block, put your shears out, and you will get all the jungle leaves that your heart desires. Um, it's really quick, it's a really simple process, and you can get a ton of them in a really short amount of time. You do obviously have to be careful about whether or not it's becoming nighttime like it is here, but uh, I'm honestly not too concerned about monsters. We'll run back here as soon as it gets dark enough, but I would like to get a good amount of these things before we do, so... Oh yeah, we're gonna have plenty. Let's just jump down. All right, so in that short amount of time, we already almost have two stacks, which will be enough to get us building at least. Uh, let's find our way up to our, our house here. 
Now, I would like to put like a little torch there, kind of like a lantern outside our house. And um, I believe that I also have vines now. And what I want to do, well, I guess I only have one vine. But what I want to do is eventually replace this area with just more vines if I can. Um, I'd like a place, I guess we'll put the torch there for now. Alright, let's head back up real quick and we'll start putting these leaves down. Now hopefully all the leaves that are already up here, yes they are, okay, they're already jungle leaves, which is a good thing. And then we just can replace them like this and having a log right below it ensures that they cannot disappear. Which is uh, what we're going for, so this is good, this is definitely a good start here. And let's go to bed once again. Alright guys, I think this is where I'm going to end the episode. I didn't realize, but we're already almost at 30 minutes, which is way longer. Two times as long as I would normally like to do it. But I'm sure you guys didn't mind. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. I do appreciate the support. Uh, there's actually going to be an outro that plays that will uh, ask you to do that once again. So hopefully you're uh, convinced by then to do so. Have a great day, everyone. And uh, I will see you for the Skyrim video on Friday. Have a great day. Hey everyone, John here again. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could take a second to either leave a like or possibly add this video to your favorites if you think it deserves it. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you would like to be notified when new episodes are released. Then, if you have any social networking accounts, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter. I do try to stay as active as possible on those two sites, and it's the easiest way for me to communicate and keep you guys updated. Also, if you click on the thumbnail on the left side of the screen, you'll be taken to the entire Minecraft playlist page where you can watch a whole bunch of episodes at once. And if you click the annotations in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you will be taken to either the previous or the next episode of this Minecraft Let's Play series. So, thanks again for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you next time.